My name is Daniel. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Halogen Power. Now, you may wonder, Halogen who? Well, we are technological breakthrough. We are the guys which ultimately will make renewable energy accessible to anybody, anywhere, and anytime. So why do we actually need that? It's about all intermittency. Renewable energy is not always available when you do need it. We have solar daytime, we don't have it nighttime. We have wind when it blows and so on. This does have a huge impact. If you more like look into the UK alone, between October 2022, January 2023, 20 billion a month, which were spent in energy curtailment, like lost energy and energy imports. This does impact power grids. That in mind, how do we ultimately overcome this topic? And this is where we come in with our technological breakthrough. My colleagues at the University of Manchester have developed a new technology, a little bit like yin and yang, if you want to put it like that. And just remind yourself of like your old physics class at high school. A battery does have a minus cycle, it does have a plus cycle. They cannot touch each other, it breaks. What if the guy's done over here? And this stands out in the UK as it's like one of the homebred opportunities. They have taken the minus side, they've taken the plus side, yin, yang, put it into one. Not two systems anymore, one flow circuit system. It can touch each other. This does come at a lot of benefits, so to speak. Our solution will be last for 20 years plus. We are targeting 25 years to be precise. We are there to more like help shift electricity from daytime for 10, 12, 14 hours towards nighttime. This will be a volume scale. We are focused on the base load of the power grid to make this possible. We basically will do smaller installations starting at 10 kilowatt hours, but we will be able to be going all the way up to multi megawatt hours. From an efficiency perspective, and this is how batteries are managed, how much you put in, how much you take out, we will be able to be pushing into the lithium space, which can only do two to four hours. It's much smaller, much less, so to speak. So we overall, target a safe solution, which is not flammable, fully circular, fully sustainable, and cheap to operate. For whom is this all? Well, anybody who uses electricity out there, ideally bulk players, so to speak. We do have a very clearly defined target market with a very clear defined mark go to market strategy, starting at smaller players, growing organically until serving the utility large scale market, so to speak. Are we alone? No, we absolutely are not, but we do stand out, fostered by British, by UK breakthrough technology and innovation. So that in mind, we do have a strong partners pipeline, we receive a strong interest from partners, however, are looking forward to installing more pilots, to be getting more offtake agreements out in the place, but also for funding. We are supported by a strong team on the commercial side, on the practical side, but also the innovation, the breakthrough side. And as such, let me repeat over here, our mission is to foster the world's decarbonization by providing a resilient, sustainable, and affordable technology, which makes renewable energy accessible anywhere, anytime, and for anybody. As such, please reach out in case you do have any questions or want to learn more about our tech and what we're doing. Thank you very much. Um, I have a good question just about distribution. Um, I imagine you know, step one is selling directly to you know, the, the businesses that generate power and distribute power, but is there a kind of a, a, a second stage for your sort of sales, sales velocity to accelerate sales velocity and sort of secure a, a leading space? Yes, that will ultimately depend on the fund base and our partners going forward. We do perceive ourselves as a hardware manufacturer, as such, trying to achieve something which many have failed for, especially in the lithium space, as we all know at the moment. However, as you want to grow organically at this point in time, it's a matter of question as to how quickly can we bring manufacturing sites up. Do we have plans for gigastale plans? Yes, absolutely. We have a strategic concept paper with every single step mapped out until 2035 already. So to answer your question, It'll be starting with smaller customers, with direct hardware sales, but ultimately we want to be in the large scale volume sphere, which will be very much driven by utility grid scale installations. Yeah. <clears throat> how, how do you see the rebalancing between the research and development team? Because it looks like the team is quite heavy on that side and the sales side. So is there, 
is there a slight rebalancing or are you just, is everybody at the top of the house doing sales? How, how is that? How do you see that panning out over the yeah. next year? Look, um, <clears throat> we are, we do have both areas already pretty much covered. We do have a sales team of four people, sales commercial strategy side of the team. We do have a very strong R&D team, which at the moment is in between the electrochemistry. Think about a car ultimately. A car does have petrol, that's our electrochemistry. A car is being manufactured and that actually makes it a really interesting export solution from a UK perspective as well, because this can replace one of the core factors of GDP in many European countries going forward. And we're basically looking into building a software team for our BMS. This is not an EMS, what we learn about or hear about with many others. These technologies are very unique, so we will have to build our own software. So that is something where we're already lining up the team for after our fundraise. And then final question, um, you have units deployed live today? We're currently in the process of bringing online our first prototype. Uh, we are in the process of signing our first conditional offtake agreement with a few additional players lined up. We do expect pilots on customer sites to be up and running in uh, the second half of this year um, with our current prototype coming on by the minute, so to speak. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, everybody.